I'm Leon Wright, currently sales director of Liverclad. I've been working at Liverclad for the last 15 years, full time, since I left school. One of five directors being the youngest brother, been through the business from you know, site installations to project management to marketing and finance and um, business studies through to here we are today, just um, a director of the company and uh, we've grown over the years. It was more of a custom solution to meet the design intent. However, it was a, a typical thing that would produce through our plant. The challenge of the design would have been the, the multi-colours and the different heights of the flutes, so engineering some of the flutes where they were longer, hanging down past the slab edges. Um, a few of these challenges came up after we'd won the project and hadn't been quite thought about, but we were able to adapt quickly and and change design to suit. Yeah, so the developer area, Will Glasson, he called me around for coffee and presented the project to me and said, I need some high level pricing back by tomorrow. So he put me under a bit of pressure. He wanted a bunch of um, uh, solutions, whether it be anodized or powder coat. Um, so I had to give him a bunch of rates. We did a hand sketch um, and produced that to him. They were happy with that. And when the builder came to awarding the project, basically he sent us back the email that I sent to Will. And um, we basically got engaged. It was a two year process. So that's how long we can have working in our sales pipeline for. So we might have design concept two years prior to us getting to site. I wouldn't say challenges, like obviously any obstacle we overcome. Um, we're working out of swing stages, but after seeing the first bunch of flutes go in, they were going in quick. The installer gave us good feedback on, on our packing and marking. So the speed of installation has been quick for him, which is always a good thing in front of our customers' eyes to get the site and get in and, in and out quickly. We have a daily smart sheet that goes out to our subcontractors to fill in the daily feedback. And so any issues I have on the side of a daily, like every day, we'll get that feedback and we it's like a feedback loop to actually um, uh, make things better for them, particularly around product arriving to site and how, how it is marked and labelled so that the contractor doesn't have to waste time unpacking things. So packing plan is very critical in our business and that's a, constantly getting that flowing through the yeah, operations team to um, you know, improve that, that site experience. It's like the flutes are obviously some are 15 metres tall but we worked it all out of standard sheet sizes, so being a three metre sheet. And the, the design was supposed to be a 400, 400 round tube, but out of a 1200 wide sheet, we were able to do one complete roll and a stitch weld it, which meant you know, savings for the customer and, and speed for us. Um, and then basically the, the, the tubes just sort of butt into each other going at the building. So it's quite a, a fast modular system. There's a little bit of coordination. On, on one elevation of the flutes, there's going to be lights coming out of the bottom of the flute, and we we'll just we just coordinate with the shop drawing process with the, the electrician. Um, there's also a living green wall going on that front elevation too, so we've had to coordinate our bracket set out, and they then coordinate their set out. Um, we just had to get the light fitting detail from the electrician so that we can insert that light fitting into our tube. So when he comes to site, he runs his wire and just connects a lot. I mean, on this particular project, it's all just done on a program called Aconex. So all, this, all the people that are working on the project, all coordinating drawings. Um, in terms of the BIM model, yes, we would have been given the, the 3D model from the builder when we won the job. So we did all our set out on that, and then everyone's working on the BIM model, which is a brilliant way of building buildings. With this project, we have developed new designs and processes within our plant to adapt to doing something custom but then we can obviously um, customise to standardise. Um, we also have lean impl implementation so for us because every job essentially is different the biggest thing for, up, for us is to is our setups so how are we going to set up the job so it's going to be the fastest way of getting that job through the plant without bottlenecking other projects. It's definitely introduced new processes so with um, obviously welding a round tube we set up wheels so that the guys don't have to you know, the tubes just roll and they can do their welding. Working in the construction industry probably for the, so the last 30 years, we've, we've adapted to every 
different type of builder. Um, the way we operate, we run about 80 projects at any one time, so we've ha had to set up systems and processes to run and work and adapt with every different construction style. You've got some builders that have got high-end systems and software, some are just still doing handwritten purchase orders, but for us we've had to set up a, a tight system so that every job runs the same through our process. Um, so standardising and proceduralising the business.